Hello everyone and welcome back to Potty Plants Entertainment. My name is Chris and in case you don't know, I review movies and I rank them on a scale of 0 to 100 in increments of 5. So, Black Widow. Okay, so, this came out a few weeks ago. Uh, I was in no rush to go see it. Um, but I saw it a few days ago finally. I went to the theater by myself and just watched it one night. Um... So let's talk about Black Widow. Uh, so it stars Scarlett Johansson, Florence Pugh, David Harbour, Rachel Weisz, who I love from the Mummy movies. The Mummy is one of the best movies ever. And Ray Winstone. Uh, it was directed by Kate Shortland, who I think is kind of a fairly inexperienced, kind of new director. Like, I think this was like her first big thing. Uh, and it was produced by Victoria Alonso, Luis de, de Esposito, Nigel Gastelo, Scarlett Johansson, and Brad Winderbaum. So this movie takes place right after Captain America Civil War. And if you didn't know that going into it, you might have figured that out while you were watching it. Because um, they mentioned what, like, what happened in that movie a lot. Um, but it takes place right after that. Uh, so it's a prequel because, as you know, uh, Black Widow died in Avengers Endgame. Was it Endgame or was it Infinity War? No, she died in Endgame. Yeah. I only saw it in Endgame once. I saw it in theaters. That was it. Um, so, uh, it takes place right after Civil War. And in this movie, we find out more about her past. We find out how she came to be Black Widow. We find out the people that she had in her life, you know, before the Avengers and all that. Um, and... She's basically going after the organization that made her a bat, that made her a spy. Um, because they are kidnapping girls and making and basically hypnotizing them and making them spies. And she's got the antidote, and they want to take that antidote from her because she can't have that antidote anyway. And so she starts recruiting her family, uh, to help her out. So, uh, this movie. Is a movie that people have been clamoring for for a long time. Um, it, honestly, we feel we, we really should have gotten this sooner. Um, I don't know why it took so long. And they might have only just made it, to be honest with you, because they felt obligated. In fact, that's one thing I'm hearing about this film, is that some people feel like it feels more like they felt obligated to make that, make the film. I didn't necessarily get that myself. Um, but let's talk about it. So, let's get into my pros and cons. So, First pro, special effects. Special effects in all the Marvel movies are amazing. That's not a surprise. Uh, the action sequences are great. I feel like the fight scenes could have used less cutting, but the action sequences are really fun. You know, they're grand scale. You know, it, it's Marvel. You expect that and you get it. Uh, it also does really good by Black Widow. It's not like Wonder Woman 1984 that was completely disrespectful to the Wonder Woman character. This movie actually respects our hero and does good by her uh there's also an after credit scene by the way in case you're wondering if you've probably seen the movie by now uh but there's an after credit scene it's pretty cool i've heard some criticisms toward it but i still think it's cool um there's also no feminist messages in it which i love uh the humor is pretty good uh it's not hilarious it's not anywhere close to being the funniest marvel movie you know it's not anywhere near thor ragnarok it's not even anywhere as good as thor ragnarok uh, but there is some good humor in it, and it's mostly by David Harbour, who steals the show in this movie. He, he's great. He, he's really, really great. I love this character in the film. Uh, this is far, far from being a perfect film. Uh, the fight scenes, like I said, they could have used a little less cutting. The villains are kind of stereotypical. There's multiple moments in the film where the characters should have gotten really hurt, but they didn't. Like, Natasha literally falls from a building. She... Of hits like a bunch of like air, air vents and stuff on the way down then hits the ground and she gets up and holds her side and then a few minutes later she's running yeah there's a lot of moments like that um also the taskmaster who's a marvel comic book villain he's in this film he attempts to blow up a car that natasha's in with the antidote and it's like, okay, but if you're trying to get that antidote, why would you try to blow up the car? Yeah, kind of weird. 
And overall, it's just kind of your run-of-the-mill Marvel movie. It's not special. It's not near as bad as Captain Marvel. Don't get me wrong. It's worlds better than Captain Marvel. <clears throat> it's not one of the better Marvel movies. It's kind of an in-betweeny. Um, I haven't seen Thor The Dark World since I saw that in theaters. You remember Thor The Dark World? That came out in 2013. I saw that one time in theaters. Haven't watched it since. But I imagine that people are kind of feeling like this is about on the same level as that. Um, but anyway, I did like the movie. It's a good movie, and I recommend going to see it. Uh, but all that being said, I'm going to give Black Widow a 70. Yeah, it's fine. I like it. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, look forward to my reviews for Old and Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire coming. I have not started my notes for Old yet. I saw Old over the weekend. I have not started my notes for it yet. Uh, but I want to try and get that review up tomorrow because I want to get that out of the way before I get back on the Harry Potter stuff. So I'm going to try and do old next, but if I do Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire next, that's because I already finished my notes for that movie. Um, so if that comes next, that's why, uh, but I want to do old next, but we'll just see. We'll just wait and see. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to Polly Planet Table for more. Hit the like button. Leave me reviews and chances down in the comments down below. Follow me on Instagram and Tumblr at Party Player Entertainment for channel updates and written movie reviews and much love.